I've been really excited for this year's Advent of Code to start. I stayed up late last night for uh, the first problem to get released in hopes that I could do it really quickly. Well, long story short, uh, I didn't do it all that quickly, uh, <laughs> especially for day one, which is typically the easiest problem. I still had fun though. The footage that I'm talking over now is from uh, my solve last night. I just want to share uh, what I did, maybe talk, talk through what was going through my mind and uh, maybe share some improvements that I could have made in retrospect. Now I've done advent of code before, of course, but I've never tried to do it uh, quickly. I was super uh, nervous. Okay, so it starts. My heart is racing. Uh, they generally give you a bunch of just like a wall of text that is just not really useful information. So you get a part of the challenge is you've got to skim through that text quickly, figure out what it is you actually need to do. So I'm reading it. Um, and it looks like there's two lists of numbers. I'm given two lists of numbers side by side. And the problem is basically asking me to find the difference between the smallest numbers from both lists and then sum all those up. So going into this, I had already sort of decided in my mind that I wanted to use Elixir to solve these problems uh, because it's just what I'm most familiar with. Uh, but as I read the problem, I thought to myself, oh, actually, maybe maybe I could do this faster using Vim like I've done in some of my past videos. I think that turned out to be a dumb decision, however. So first big mistake, not using a programming language. <laughs> So I paste in the input data into Vim, and I begin trying to figure out how I can sort these two columns uh, independently of each other. I uh, played around with the built-in sort, and I tried to read some of the manual, but uh, I was really struggling. And so I basically fumbled around for a bit, um, and I decided to just visual use visual block, select the second column, and move it down underneath the first column so that I could perform the sorting like independently of each list. I got it done, but man, I was really struggling because uh, I, I couldn't even, like I was in panic mode. I couldn't remember even just like basic motions. Uh, so it was kind of a, a struggle. Okay, so now at this point, I have all the, all the numbers sorted like they need to be. The next step was to prepare for the expression register where, you know, I would perform the, the subtraction on each line and then eventually sum them up. This is kind of painful to watch. Uh, uh, you see how I manually select the extra white space between all the numbers? That's fine, I guess. Um, I think it would have been cleaner to just use a substitute, you know, something like this, for example. And actually, I didn't really even need to um, get rid of the white space. The expression register will work with the white space regardless. So that was sort of a waste of time. Okay, so at this point, I'm like trying to use the expression register. I'm basically buckling under this self-inflicted -infl pressure that I've given myself to solve the problem quickly. So the main thing that's screwing me over is that I'm trying to do this expression register while in normal mode and nothing was happening because I need to be in insert mode. So I do eventually, I finally figure that out and then I start to record a macro so that I could, my idea was that I could repeat this calculation uh, for each line of the file. In retrospect, I didn't really even need to do that, and I'll show you what I mean towards the end of the video. Anyway, I'm still s struggling. I'm, I'm trying to use the macro. Um, I basically forgot how to replay the macro across every single remaining line in the file, which is what I, would have been the optimal way to do that. Anyways, I just choose a big number and let it rip. All right, so finally I get the file to where I have everything on one line. I try to replace some spaces with uh, addition signs, and then I evaluate the expression. I get an answer. Uh, I go paste it into the Advent of Code website, and I'm really happy to see that even after all that like struggling, it was really painful. Um, it is the correct answer, so that's great. All right, hindsight is 2020. So here is a sort of a refactor, or what kind of like an optimized version of what I wish I could have done in the moment editing the file. Um, I'm going to use visual block to select that second column, come down below the first column, and then I'll paste it down there. Then I can use VIP to select that and sort it. And then same thing for the first column, VIP to select that block and sort it. All right, so next I need to get this bottom, this bottom column back up to where it needs to be next to the first one. And so 
you can come in since I copied it with visual block I can paste it and it won't affect you know those other lines all right so now uh, I'm working on the substitute um, I'm, and like I mentioned earlier I want to build a substitute that uh, is a giant expression well, not giant but an expression for the expression register so I want to capture the first numbers the first column of numbers and the second column of numbers and you can see I'm using those match groups there's a lot of backslashes going on because I'm not in magic mode but anyways uh, yeah I've got a match group for that first column and then I'm I'm matching on the second one now and I, you can use backslash one backslash two to to call those up in the substitute portion or the replacement portion I mean so yeah, now I'm going to use, there's, there's a function called abs for absolute value, and so I can start to form an expression for each line here. So absolute value of the first column minus the second column, then a plus sign after all of those. So then I can join everything onto one line, and then just delete that last plus sign. Then I can do capital C to get everything into my unnamed register, and... Then I'm doing control R equals to get into the expression register, followed by uh, control R double quote to call up what I have sitting in my unnamed register. And then I actually hit enter already, but it takes a long time to paste in there. There we go. Uh, all those pretty colors. And then finally just hit enter, and there it is. There's the result. So pretty simple, actually. Um, it's just hard to do all that in the moment. So that's what probably what I would have done. And then after I did part one, I moved on to part two.